<laughs> Goddess. <laughs> I wish you could smell the food. It's 8.40 on March 4th. And I just got my food here at the hotel. Uh, let me show you the view. So this is the restaurant to the hotel. So this is what I could go to. And then right here, they have a, it's like a sushi. So they have a sushi restaurant, and then in there they have like a market that has all food, and then right here is like a bar. And this is the hotel's restaurant. Can you hear me, by the way? I love this like sexy area over here that you could snuggle with a lover. It's so cute. Anyways, I just got my food. Can you hear me? So I just got my food. It's a veggie burger, of course. Um, I got my earphones on to talk with you. And I got honey mustard on the side and sweet potato fries. And I'm so excited. I've literally been in the trainer. Um, so all day long, I've been in my NLP practitioner training. And it's a weird schedule. It's from 1 to 8 p.m. And so you kind of only get one meal per day. <laughs> and I'm so excited to eat. I feel very hungry. And I wanted to talk about a couple of things. That, oh, thank you, sir. I wanted to talk about a couple of things from today's NLP practitioner training. So today was day three out of the seven day training. And we focused on mostly language. And it was literally so deep. So I want to say hi. I want to say that this training is mind blowing. Uh, and I also wanted to tell you while my food cools off so that I could eat it. I met some type of famous singer today in the elevator. He had two silver chains on and one gold one, like very like diamond watch. There was a six foot six bodyguard with him, and there was also like some type of manager who was wearing a tux, like a blue tux. It was so interesting. I don't know if that was his manager or his publicist, but yeah. <laughs> so there are some interesting people staying in this hotel. Uh, so far, I am comfortable here at the Sun West. I don't uh, feel unsafe, for example. I, I'm glad that I have a bath. I'm glad I'm on the 16th floor, which is the highest floor in the building. I actually am having better experiences than rich people do because the difference is I stay in nice hotels, people who work and pay for us stay in nice hotels, but the difference is, is that I get upgraded because I'm nice and genuine and authentic. Not nice, but I think people love a real woman. And they pay for it. There is a guy here at the training who has an entire marketing team and an organization. And he's staying on the 15th floor. I'm staying on the 16th. So who's having so they work and I have impact, but don't work. Who I mean who's who's really having the premier experience? So anyways, I wanted to tell you about those couple of things. And also that I, I had imposter syndrome before this last two years that I've had this Instagram since uh, March of 2020. And I never sell, I never put offers out, I never like promote or market. It looks great, thank you. And obviously that's changing now. But I had imposter syndrome because I didn't have formal training as a coach, even though I had background in psychology. This, after becoming an NLP practitioner in a couple of days, 
I have all the confidence in the world, and I'll finally be able to not only work with women and have impact, but I will know why I'm doing what I'm doing, and I'll know exactly the process and the guidelines and the best practices for working with the subconscious mind. And the reason I'm here, my why, is because I believe, and it's my value, that the subconscious brain is the most valuable tool that we have. More valuable than money. So, I'm really excited. I'm really empowered. I have pride in what I'm doing. Even though I never <laughs> planned on resuming my education at 28, but it is important for me to be the best in my field. And I am so confident that my coaching will actually be a program that has structure instead of coaching where I'm more of a consultant. But this is what I'm so excited about. So, I'm going to enjoy my dinner. Happy Saturday night in LA. I've never stayed in a hotel for this long. I'm here for seven days and it's day three. So, this is me getting familiar with what I can eat after being in an eight hour long training all day every day for seven days. Alright, I'll keep you updated. Talk to you soon.